We ended the last one with a bird sitting on the ground, because, uh, you know, bird and on the ground, that's their natural habitat, of course. Birds are, you know, creatures that live entirely on the ground, and this one's eating. Chompadilly. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have to kill some time here, and I think while I'm killing time, I'm gonna take glass cannon number one, and, uh, probably leave her at home, grab a camel, and go gather a bunch of clay and silk, because we have some other things that I'd like to be working on while we're waiting for the bird to ideally not die. Um, <laughs> and since I'm not really watching it, who knows what's going to happen, right? Right. While I'm waiting for the bird to tame on up, I thought I'd go kill a, a thing or two and just, uh, you know, get some meat, get some hides, because uh, we're going to need a little of each, I think. And if there are any Argentavises around over here, then theoretically we can get some raw prime meat. And that might actually make the taming go, you know, a wee bit faster. That would be good. I do see a Paris there. What are you? Are you... Oh, you're a mantis. Oh, I wouldn't mind taming one of those guys, too, just for giggles, if nothing else. If nothing else, just for giggles. Oh, you would be a dog. Black dog. Fire up the Led Zeppelin. Black dog. Liking that. Liking it. And, um... You just keep on chilling over there, buddy. Just out of curiosity, since I haven't really run into these guys yet. Um, no, you're a water bug. Never mind. Maybe that was just a water bug. I could, yeah, okay, never mind. I thought it was something else. Never mind. Hi, cat. How's it going? You wanna, you wanna jump over here? Howdy. Let's, let's not have you slam into the microphone like you did last time, especially when I'm talking. That was kind of inconvenient. Makes it kind of hard to edit all that stuff out. Just curious here. Oh, hi, Terra Birds. Oh, you made me eat the Parasair. Parasair, is that what that thing is? I think that's what that thing is. Oh, my dog, you need you need more health. Oh, hey, that's my Parasair. Hands off, or beaks off. Get your ugly, nasty beak off of that Parasair. It's mine. It's mine, I say. Give me your feathers. And then uh, let's go ahead and continue killing you, because theoretically... We should be able to do this. Maybe. I might need to go, um, crap. <laughs> uh, no, I don't need to go crap. I need to go run my dog away for a minute and get some health. Oh, man. You are just itching to follow now, aren't you? My goodness there, guy. Or girl, whichever you are. I didn't honestly pay attention. Because I didn't care at the moment, but... My goodness! Stop following. Holy cow. How long are you going to follow? Jeez. That, that's just a little much there. You're going to end up in bad news if you come all the way over here. I'm just telling you. Just giving you a fair warning there, Mr. or Mrs., whichever you are. Don't keep coming. All right. You've been warned. Let's do it. I think you can be taken down if I do it this way. I was having trouble connecting before, so there you go. Now you got problems. And you're dead. Good. Just like that. And you should be able to hook me up with the raw prime meat. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. That was the whole point of this journey. Uh, my dog, you are not feeling very good. I'm not feeling very good. So let me give you that. Uh, I need to give you more than that. But that's okay. Because I'm just going to run over here for the moment. And uh, hope that the, the bird is still there. Uh, you... Ah, oh, crap. Crap! Stupid raptors. Raptors ate my bird. Oh, that is so annoying. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to back off now. If we need to do this, then we can do this. I'm saying we can do this. But uh, my poor dog is um, running out of stamina here, so... Help! Help, everyone! Help! There we go. That should get Aquafina's attention. And Fluffy should come help. All right, you are dead, so that solved that problem. I guess the other one just ran off, huh? Here, let me go ahead and slam 100 health right quick. Just like that. Boom, done. There you go. Get a little more maximum health. You need a lot more maximum health than that, so that'll be good. Man, that's such a bummer. Such a, such a bummer. And all this stuff is going to spoil in really short order, and I couldn't tell you how long because tooltips don't exist for me. Ah, oh, man, that makes me mad. 
I knew that was a real possibility just because I know there are raptors over here, but man, that's a bummer. Let's see what I had in there. Just a bunch of meat, it looks like. Berries. Oh, those are the berries I threw out of my inventory. Never mind them. I was weighed down by them, so I figured I'd just go ahead and drop them. Ah, crud. Well, I'm going to have to go get myself a new bird, so I think I'm going to sit out the, uh, the heat wave here. Maybe check on my adobe that I have cooking up, or my uh, clay, rather, that I have cooking up. Assuming I've figured this out correctly, then theoretically we can put up a couple walls and things right quick. So why don't we go ahead and take care of that before we move along? Because, uh, yeah, we're going to need to move along, I, I suspect. So I'm going to need to put a bunch of walls down kind of everywhere. I don't think I'm going to have... Well, I know I'm not going to have what I would actually like to have, but... Honestly, it just takes a while to collect all these materials, so it's all right. I'm not going to sweat it for right now. And we're almost done. That's how that's how quickly this goes. I mean, just like that, I've kind of run out of materials. Although, I do believe I have one of those guys and one of those guys. And if I check yonder inventory, I have some of those and a couple of these. So we can put up... One of those guys there, and one of those guys there, and then, uh, I don't know how this is all going to work out. Not very well, I think, and yet I'm going to try anyway. So we'll do something like that, a little bit of a peaked roof, and then something like this, and I want to make sure you connect, and then something like that. So you can kind of see it's starting to come together a little bit. Uh, but obviously, we still need to add a few more walls and things, because we're not done. Not by a long shot. It's funny, I was actually going to try and do it a little lower. Didn't work. The the angled roof gets in the way, and you can't get through the door. Hmm. Who would have guessed? I had no idea that would be the case. I'm going to grab glass cannon here. I am still weighed down. What is it that I'm carrying that's so heavy? That's all the wood. Well, then here. Let's go ahead and drop all of it minus one onto you. I'm going to grab one of those back and theoretically I can pick up a rock and some flint if I need to at, uh, at some point here. So that should help us to move a little quicker. I like that. A little better maneuverability. We're going to head back into, uh, I guess, this direction for right now. This is a pretty safe way to go, I think. Certainly looking like it anyway. And we're going to see what we can find over here aside from that beacon, which I don't know. That might be that might be worth checking out, I, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't really know. I mean, that there's our golem over there, so we're going to ignore the golem. Yeah, you know what? What the heck? Let's go see what's in that beacon. I mean, it, it's a white beacon, so it's probably not going to be great, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. There might be something useful in there. You never know. Sometimes they do have useful stuff in them just because you need some of those random things, like, I don't know, silk or whatever might be in there. Uh, we'll take some Trank Arrows and an extra Water Skin. And you know what? I'll even take those. Why not? Why not? We'll take some Stone Arrows. I can always turn them into something useful later. And then we're going to just kind of go back up here. This is... What are you? Kangaroo. Okay. Kangaroo. That That's what we have going on over there. I can say, what is that over there? I, I couldn't tell. But this course is kind of the general vicinity of... Well, where we found some stuff before, so... I'm just going to head on up here. And, oh, there's a big moth over there. I wouldn't mind taming a moth. I've already tried that. Failed miserably. Uh, you know, I know. I can use Ebola on it. I've just been... trying my old methods, and uh, clearly they haven't worked out very well. There's a dog right there. Hello, puppy dog. You don't see me, apparently, which is fine. There's a cat up there. Let's go pay a visit to the cat, because uh, there might be something worth checking out up here once we get a little further. Kitty cat! Oh, you didn't even stand a chance. Oh, that cat was just dead before it even knew it hit it. Um, wow, you see the blood moving or something? That was weird. I don't know what that was about. There are going to be some metal nodes up here that are probably worth checking out, but... Uh, I'm on my dog. Dog does not carry very much. Not really. But I do see some Argies, so I think what we'll do is we'll head... We'll head over to Argy land. That sounds good. 
If I can remember to go straight when I get out of here, or at least go downhill, I think I can find my way back home. Oh, Thorn Demon, hello you. Thorn Demons are little jerks, aren't they? They're going after the moth. There's the RG, so I do need to get over there. Which means I probably need to kill this Thorn Demon to get past it. Oh, look at that bird. Wow, that is a just dark colored bird. That is pretty awesome looking. Man, I am finding some really good colored animals, I think. Getting lucky in that regard. Oh, are you going to attack me? Come attack me. Hey! You! Can I get your attention up there? Alright, I... Ah, oh crap. If I hop off of my dog, then Thorn Demon's going to go after me. And Thorn Demon's going to go after me now anyway, so let's go ahead and get rid of you. You're pretty low level. We should be able to take you out without too much problem. Here we go. Bunch of keratin for those guys. Nice. And just to make sure dog doesn't have any issues. Oh, you don't have any on you. Well, don't fall asleep, dog. Do not fall asleep. So I'm going to bust out my boomerang here. And we're just going to go ahead and get the bird's attention. Oh, that missed. Let's try again. I think that got it. I don't know. Did that get it? Hello? Hello? Bird? I don't want to shoot you with my bow just yet, because I'm going to knock you out as soon as I hit you. There we go. Tag, you're it. All right, let's pull the bow out now. And now you're down. Don't eat the bird. Because if the bird's not down, then I need a minute here to uh, continue to shoot it. Ah, oh, crud, you're not down. Oh, there you are. Now you're down. Yeah, that would be the joy of my massively overpowered trank arrows. Although... In fairness, to make those arrows, I got to use a ton of narcotics, so they're not totally overpowered. It's not like they aren't at least somewhat balanced. Wild male Argentivus, level 108, and you are a black bird. That's pretty awesome. All right, I'm going to try and transfer some of these over to my inventory and hope that they last long enough to get into bird's inventory. And why don't you have anything pretty looking on your feathers? You look pretty crappy, actually, up close. I was playing with my options earlier. What am I missing? I probably need to restart. Oh, well. We'll get it next time. My bad. Sorry. I need to grab some of this regular meat just so that I have a backup in case that all spoils before you get a chance to eat it. I'm not really sure if, we'll, if we're going to get lucky on that front or not. If we are, then we're good. And if not, then, well, obviously we're not. Just out of curiosity, what's the spoil time I have left on that? Oh, 30 seconds. Yeah, this is all going to spoil before you get a chance to eat it. That's kind of a shame. Kind of a shame. All right, well, just the same, I have some babysitting to do yet again. So I'm going to do some babysitting, and uh, we'll be back. I'm a little concerned. Uh, we're a little over halfway, but you might notice that this guy's a little bloody. Um, yeah, that was the saber tooth that I had to fight off. And then there was a carno, and... Um, Oh yeah, there was another thorny dragon. I was about to say demon. I keep wanting to say demon with those. So, I don't know. It's um, looking a little iffy. And plus, I mean, obviously, here we are in the morning. 7.48 a.m. Nice and early in the morning. But if we should get some sort of storm or something coming, I did not run out here with a tent. So, this could be bad news. And that would be a thorny demon ruining things because I got stuck on top of the thorny demon while it was attacking. Ah, oh, sometimes I hate this game. Sometimes I really, really do. Oh, man. Well, that was a total waste, and I am completely out of narcotics. Uh, I dumped everything I had into that bird, so I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go make some new ones. Apparently, that's a shame. Do you have anything you can drop, like a bunch of meat and stuff? Because I'd like to carry some metal back. I'd like to at least get some use out of this trip. Oh, man. That's a shame. That's a shame. A shame, I tell you. Wow, you're carrying a lot of crap that I don't want. Drop all that stuff, buddy. Drop it. Here, you know, eat the rest of that. Why not? Do you have any more meat up there? You sure do. Then eat that one, too. Get yourself up to a 1,000 again. That way you're at least not... Totally a, a, a glass cannon, like I, I say you are. Ah, oh, man. We're going to be... We're going to be hoofing it back to base, and it's going to be slow, because, yeah, you're going to be weighed down with a bunch of metal. 
And uh, you're going to have to deal with it, I think. Let's drop you. We'll drop you. I'll drop as much as I can just to help out here. But um, that's about it. Here, I'll drop those. Oof. Can you feel the, the breathing room already? There you go. You know what? Here, let's get rid of that. We can, we can always collect more fibers. We don't need more of them. There. Now, can you move kind of quickly? Eh, that's quickly enough. Wow. Well, I need to hit the base and uh, re-engineer some narcotics and things. So I think this might be my first uh, super heat wave. I'm going to try the tent out just to compare and see if it's any better than uh, the Adobe is. The Adobe is pretty darn effective, but let's just see how this works in comparison. So I'm going to hop inside. Uh, it's still hopper, hot hopper in here. It's still hot in here. But I can't tell if it's actually hotter in here versus what it's like in the Adobe here. If we go in here, I'm actually getting the, the housing bonus over here. So long as I stay uh, under the roof. Not in there. Not, not right over there. That'd be bad. But over here, I'm fine. And I, I'm just trying to watch my health to see if I'm dropping. I think I'm okay. Nope, I'm dropping. Let me go try the tent. Because that would be terrible. Um, I get stuck in so many doors in this game now. Something changed, and it, it, it doesn't get along well with me. So let's see. 126. Am I going to drop? Probably. I hope not. That could be problematic. Ah, it's going up in here. So the tent is better than the adobe. I wonder if that would be the case if the adobe were completely enclosed. I don't know. But apparently, I'm just going to have to stay inside here. I know I don't really have to close the door. I just do it out of habit. I don't know. I'm weird. What can I say? Well, apparently, I got to pass the time by in here. And then we're ready to go get a rolling. If we are going to do this, let's do it right. That's kind of my thought. Oh, hello, Titan Mermas. Um, do you want to play with my tank? No, probably not. But you did want to play with my dog. So there you go. Congratulations, you've now met my dog. I'll take your kite and why not? We're gonna head over, uh, I guess this side, since I do recall seeing some birds over here. I suppose if not, we can settle for a moth. I'd prefer not to, honestly. I'd rather get a bird, but just the same. It might be kind of cool to check out a moth because I haven't really looked at them yet. And I'm gonna go ahead and save this tank over here. And uh, there we go. You guys, why don't you beat on my tank? He's pretty beefy. Pretty beefy. Yeah, look at that. Just destroyed these terror birds. Yeah, Aquafina is terror for the terror birds, I'll, I'll tell you what. Although they're actually, they look like they're doing a little bit of damage. Let me help out. He might be mate boosted or something. That might be the problem here. There you go. You guys are toast. Leave, leave Aquafina alone. Leave the fiendster. Oh, man, my goodness. It is just terror bird central over here, isn't it? Crap, maybe I shouldn't have brought Aquafina over here. Holy cow, you just got your butt kicked. Wow, you you got smashed there, buddy. Um, Here, have some more health. I don't know, maybe this wasn't such a good idea to bring you along. I was I was thinking more of my survivability. I, I figured you would be okay, but um, apparently a dozen terror birds, or ten or eight or whatever it was, you don't like that very much. Bummer. I guess I gotta work harder then, don't I? Alright, I do see a thorny dragon over here, so let's go ahead and get rid of the thorny dragon. Oh, I see another terror bird. Bring a bird! If you don't bring it, I'm gonna bring it to you. How about that? There you go. These guys are little jerks, I tell you what. Hey, don't go after the, the big fluffy thing. I guess it's not really fluffy, but you know what I mean. Oh, you're a high-level dragon, aren't you? And you just got mowed down. Oh, wow, it's going to just be save everything from the terror birds over here. All right. Um, and, and ideally, don't lose Aquafina. And also, ideally, don't get stuck on Aquafina. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Just like magic, I teleported to Aquafina. I've never done that before in this game. That's a first for me. All right. Let's get back on Glass Cannon. Now, theoretically, I know where I'm supposed to go. That general direction. That's that's how I get out of here. Um, excuse me, Mr. Mister Hoppity Hop there, or Miss, whichever you are. 
I'm going to drop some of these guys just because it's weighing the dog down and the dog doesn't have a whole lot of wiggle room with weight. I've actually thrown a couple levels into weight just because I'm going to throw another one in there. Uh, we're going to leave it right there and we'll give you more health. So 215 is decent for now. And let's head up the hill here a little bit. I, I could have sworn I remembered seeing a bird before. And if not, that's okay. If not, it's okay. I guess we could always go after a moth here. I just would, like I said, I would prefer to go after a big flyer, not a not a small kind of slow flyer. Let's just see here. You're level 16. That might just have to suffice for now. So let's go ahead and try this. I'm going to shoot you in the face and you're going to try to fly away and you're going to immediately stop wherever you went. And there you go. You're going to crash land. Okay, maybe not immediate, but it was pretty darn close to immediate. Now, there are quite a bit of ugly things around here. I don't even know what to feed you. What am I supposed to feed you? Probably not cooked meat. I actually have no idea what I'm supposed to feed these guys. Uh, here, give me that and that and those and some of that. And I'm just going to load this guy up with everything. And we're going to let you decide what it is you want to eat because I've actually paid zero attention thus far in this game to what these guys actually do or eat or anything. Aside from I knew they, they have a little area of effect that they kind of drop stuff on and, you know, kind of slow things down. So, Lymantria, not really what I was going after. It's kind of crappy. I've already lost two birds on this episode. That just... I'd say it seems unfair, but it's perfectly fair. It's the arc, man. It's just the way it goes. So to make sure that we don't lose this one, I need to uh, rearrange Aquafina a little bit. That'll be fine. You might have noticed earlier I had something in my inventory. Namely, I had some spiked walls. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some spiked walls around this here uh, creature type thingy majigger. And we're just going to make sure that no one comes in and eats her. And I believe I was SMRT smart. And... There we go. Oh, look at that. You've collected some junk from the various things you've killed. Congratulations! That's all pretty much junk and can be tossed. Let me go ahead and make a couple more spiked walls. So four of them might be enough, and if not, then five definitely will. Because I've, I've kind of angled them out, and I didn't really need to do that. So here, let's let's not angle them out quite as much. And then we'll do uh, something like this. There we go. You know what? Just to be safe here, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do it. I'm not going to put it up just yet until I make sure that I have enough food in its inventory, because I, I still don't really know what you're supposed to eat. Looks like you ate meat. I, I assume you ate. No, you didn't, because that's spoiled. So you're eating berries. That means that I need to hook you up with more berries. Aquafita, my friend, give me some mijos. We're gonna mijo it up over here on this on this moth. Here, moth. There you go. Have some of that. I suppose worst case scenario, we could just kill the moth and, um, you know, we'd be all right. We'd get a bunch of silk for it, which I could probably use to repair my stuff. So here we go. I'm going to just chill right here. And theoretically, with only one direction to watch, I'm going to leave this open just so I have a means of getting in there. I think we'll end up being okay. Famous last words, right? Famous last words. My torch died right as she tamed, so I had to go repair it, but um, we're good to go. I'm going to actually just demolish uh, at least part of this wall, if not if not all of it. Eh, we'll say that's good enough. Good. We're going to have you follow, and uh, I guess you're already on follow, so theoretically, we should be good now. We should have a little uh, convoy going on. Convoy. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Boom. All right. Am I going the right way? Because I haven't the slightest clue. I think I'm supposed to go this direction. It's dark. I don't really know this area all that well just yet, but I'm pretty sure this is correct. I, I would say I see something in the distance that I recognize, but I don't. It's too dark to see anything in the distance. Oh, man. What a pain this has been. You have no idea. Well, maybe you do. If you've lost a couple of Argentivises before, then you know the pain I've been through in this episode trying to film it. Ah, uh, yes, I said film, and though none of this is analog. Go figure. 
I'm old. Anyway, we are back at home. There's Fluffy. And what is that over there? Is that another moth? It's another moth. Look at that. Maybe we should uh, tame another one just for giggles. I don't know. I don't really know. All right. I'm going to drop you here. We're going to just tell everyone to stop. You're going to go land somewhere. I, I don't really know where you're going to go land. Fluffy, uh, let's just give you a little more health here while I'm thinking about things. Fluffy has a tent on her, as well as Aquafina has a tent on him. That's all good stuff. You guys kind of are, um, wimpy, aren't you? You don't carry much, do you? Let's, let's get you a little more carrying weight, just because. I'm going to go ahead and take that, and I'll take that back, too, just, just because they're... I'm sure I can use it for something. Dog, why don't you go ahead and hold that? You can you can hold on to that. And then why don't we check one last thing here just to see what it's going to take. A Lymantria saddle. And I don't know if that's... Uh, ah, look at that. It's one I can make on my own. We just need a bunch of fiber and some chitin or keratin. It just so happens that I put a boatload of stuff in here. And actually, I need more rocks. That's my problem. I don't have enough rocks to, to actually do anything with that stuff. So let us go find somewhere to harvest some fiber right quick. I probably have a bunch somewhere, and I just forgot, but that's okay. It, it's, um, maybe there's a bunch in the smithy? I don't remember. I figure we're right here, and I've been wanting to test something anyway. Yeah. I wanted to see if the scythe helps me get silk. The answer to that is an obvious and emphatic yes! I like that. That's good to know because, like I said uh, at some point in this episode, silk is a good thing. We need it to repair the clothing we're wearing. So, you know, it's all good. All right, Lymantria, get ready to saddle up. There you go. There's your saddle. I don't really know how it's going to work flying on a moth, but we'll see. We shall see. And I'm going to go ahead and just... Oh, you know what? I don't know that I ever reloaded this guy. No, I sure didn't. There's still metal in there, isn't there? There you go. We'll light you up, and I'm going to put the rest of the wood in there, because we don't need to hold on to it. We're we're good for the moment. I'll leave the door open. doesn't really matter. Look at that. I can now fly on a moth. <laughs> this might be one of the most ridiculous things I've seen with this game. Hard to believe as that may be. Um... That's pretty darn ridiculous looking. I just don't even know what to say to that. Wow. Wow. Really need an Argentivus for the carry weight, but you know what? I'll go ahead and take this, because this might allow a little bit of early access to to some crystal or something, and at the very least, it is kind of cool to, you know, get a feeling for what the new stuff can do. And look at that. It craps on the ground for you on command. And, of course, when it does that, it kind of slows down everything in its path, I think. So that's actually something that'd be really awesome in uh, a PvP setting. Oh, I can't crap again? All right. Well, I guess it takes a little while to recharge there. Or maybe I, I need more stamina. Or the moth needs more stamina, as it were. Just the same. It's all good. It's all good in the neighborhood. And with that, we're going to call this an episode and wrap it up. This bad boy is done. Complete and utter failure insofar as getting a bird is concerned. But we got a moth, and I'm going to go ahead and call that a poor man's second prize. And that would be some flying poop. So I'll catch you on another one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.